I've had some questions on how to use MAMP and how to bring a website from your domain name to a local server using MAMP on your Mac. So right now, this is my first attempt at doing it, so hopefully I get it right. If not, I'll re-record it and you won't see this video, obviously. So I'm on a fresh WordPress installation right now. I'm going to go into Plugins and I'm going to get Duplicator. So I already have it in here. Search Plugins install now okay activate plugin then I'm gonna go down to duplicator packages and let's see create new package so that works create package set and it should just take a second. Here we go, it's doing something. Alright, so we need to download the installer and the package. Okay, I'm back and I'm ready to drop this installer.php and then the zip file from the duplicator package. So, I'm gonna try to create a folder here in htdocs so I'll just call it site now I'll pull these two files over drop them in now I'm gonna go to the map start page and I'm gonna create a database in PHP my admin. Let's go to databases. I'll just call it site. Created the database. Now I need to go to localhost and I'll go to site. See if it here we go. go to installer.php so site slash installer.php let me move this down there we go see the URL I don't have username and password so let me just see if the connection is nope just put root connection successful I've read the warnings that we need to delete a few of the files after installing but it doesn't really matter on a, a local server I guess so run deployment okay Now it's asking us to run an update, I guess. And now it tells you to delete these files from your server because um, someone can easily hack in, or I guess they wouldn't even have to hack in, they just have to go to installer and they could change your password and stuff. So if you're doing that on the web, taking a website from MAMP to your hosted website, this is really important to delete these files. So now let me just go to localhost slash site, make sure it's up there. And here's the fresh WordPress installation. Okay, that should do it for now.
Thanks for watching.